what is up gear squad and lawbreakers chain gear here bringing you another video and today we are here to review to give you guys some impressions around the lawbreakers 1.4 patch uh, i am testing this on my playstation 4 pro it is not um i don't think there's really much of a difference between the playstation 4 pro and the ps4 version in terms of uh any of the actual gameplay elements um and i don't think there's actually many differences for the pc either in terms of what has changed for patch 1.4 so follow along with this again these are my first impressions a bit of a review um, and I hope you guys enjoy it the first thing I want to talk about are the role changes this is uh, quite big um, the first thing is the health and the health regen so every single character has had quite a large health buff. If you're interested in learning more about that, I have a video that I can actually link to in the description talking about all of the different changes, but everyone has a huge health buff now. Everybody, it takes a lot longer to kill and they have health regen. This is huge. So now you don't have to rely on the med kits and the med heal stations or your medic. Uh, you can actually just get out of combat for a little bit and you'll start regening health and quite quickly too and what this basically means is that you have a longer time to kill you may actually see this uh this little acronym quite um you know all, all over the place it's called ttk time to kill and so it's a lot longer now and personally i love it if you have a longer time to kill that means you have a lot more time to get multi kills before you're killed and that means more time to stay alive i love this Oh my god, I was able to run around the map and kill so many more people than I usually am able to. Honestly, like if you get into a firefight, the majority of the time, you have to then run. If you win, if you are skilled enough to kill the other opponent, you're probably still going to get hit. Which means now you've successfully killed the opponent and you have to run. You have to leave the battle. Why? Because you have half of your health. Let's say you're a 300 health character. You fight somebody who's 500 health. You beat them because you're more skilled. Now you have 150 health and you have to keep fighting. No, you run away. But now you don't have to necessarily run away. You can just move back a little bit, wait a second or two, and then you start to regen your health. Now, if you want to, you can still go ahead and go to the ammo or the, uh, the health pods, ammo, the health pods, or get the little health things, the health packs, and that's helpful. Don't get me wrong. You can still use those things. They're not obsolete. But the fact that you can regen your own health and that you have more of it is awesome. I'm a huge, huge fan. The second thing I want to talk about are the Enforcer, or is the Enforcer and Wraith. Um, I, now there are a lot of other changes, but frankly, I don't play as those characters. I haven't played um, the Gunslinger, though it does seem like the Gunslinger has had a bit of a buff uh, and a nerf, so that's kind of cool. Um, haven't played as the Battle Medic or anything like that, but I have played as the Enforcer and Wraith. First off is the Enforcer. Oh my gosh. Longer distortion field with a uh, recharge time that starts sooner. So it's not faster, it just comes up sooner. It used to be 10 seconds, now it's 7 seconds. That's huge. So when you use your entire distortion field, just wait 7 seconds instead of 10 and you're up and running with that regeneration in terms of your uh, fuel. That is huge. I think that's super helpful. Um, now you don't move as fast with your distortion field anymore, but that doesn't change anything when it comes to the swap speed or your rate of fire, which is awesome. Your swap speed is actually a lot faster now. Uh, not a lot faster. I can't remember exactly. I think it's 35 to 45%, um, but it's faster, which means when you run out of your aerator ammo you can switch really quickly to your shotgun which also has more ammo now and you're able to let off some shots there i, I love it honestly i kind of feel like the enforcer is getting a little overpowered which is interesting uh, Enforcer is more accurate now, but has less rockets. So when I said that uh, the Enforcer is getting a little stronger and kind of getting into the overpowered range, basically the Enforcer can use their distortion field a lot and they're going to be able to be more accurate with it. So they have a longer distortion field, they can quickly get their, uh, their distortion field back, and they're more accurate while using it or while without using it. So they're basically just more deadly within that time period. Your movement speed may not be as fast, but in general, you're still a lot better of a killer in that way. Now, the only thing that has changed are the rockets um, in terms of a, a nerf, uh, and that would be the rockets. So you have less rockets and they do less damage. Honestly, I don't care. People were calling the rockets the meme rockets or the meme hounds, I think, um, and I'm totally cool with that. Basically, less meme hounds, which means it was a less skill. You, before, basically, you'd say like, okay, lock on and insta kill. Now it's like lock on and please kill. So you have to use a lot more skill. You have to really think about when you're gonna use those rockets. 
all in all, even though the barrier or, or the skill cap has fallen a little bit when it comes to being able to use Enforcer with his gun and his distortion field, the skill cap has definitely gotten a lot higher when it comes to the rockets because you can't just insta-kill anymore. So I like it. I like these changes with the Enforcer. Um, if anything, they might nerf him a little bit more, but I like the Enforcer and where he's at. Now, Wraith, on the other hand, is so different. The reason I was using Wraith a lot last time around was because I could go ahead and use that stab move to fly around the map. You can't really do that anymore. Basically, when you stab, it will lunge you the first time, but every time after that, it doesn't work. You still stab, but you won't lunge. Not only will you still stab and not lunge, you'll also lose damage on consecutive stabs. So basically, you can't just run around and start stabbing the air or stabbing people. You have to actually combo that stab. Which is really, really interesting. I haven't played enough of Wraith, so I don't want to like get into a review and say if Wraith is bad or good. I've heard a lot of people getting complaints around Wraith, um, but I, you know, I'm not 100% sure. He also has less jumps now in total. He still has the three, but the second you touch the ground, the first one starts to recharge, then the rest of them recharge. So, you know, basically less mobility across the board. I think he's a little bit stronger now and has a larger clip, so he actually does do a little bit more damage, but with the buff and everyone's health, I'm just not 100% sure that he's that great anymore. But we'll have to give it a shot, I'll have to play a little bit more and see if Wraith truly is um, still a great character. But we'll get back to that. Alright, the last thing that I want to mention before we kind of get into um, some miscellaneous things is uh, Namsan, um, or Namsan. Um, that's the new map, uh, and I like it, I like it. It's a little hard to get used to, but it's good. There are definitely times that are a little crazy, and you have to remember maybe your positioning isn't as great as it, it was, and so you have to reposition and stuff like that. Um, but I like the the the, the sight lines. Um, basically, you know, if you're playing an objective-based game, I think that the, the place that they put the objectives is pretty even, and I think it's pretty fair. Um, and there are so many different tactics that you can use. One of the things that they mention in the trailer is that this this map was really built um, to allow every character to kind of utilize the air, um, which I think is really interesting because not every character is great with that, um, but this map actually helps with that quite a lot. So I'm a fan of Namsan. Um, I'd give that map an A plus if I was grading this. Um, but all in all, guys, I want to hear what you guys have to say about the map. Do you guys like Namsan? Do you guys like the changes with the health and the health regen? Um, and uh, how about the skills uh, or, or the changes within the roles? Again, I can only only talk about Enforcer and Wraith, but I'd love to hear what you guys think about the changes with assassin the changes with the gunslinger please let me know in the comment section below all right the last thing that i want to talk about um a couple miscellaneous things one the login rewards yeah i'm cool with it why would i complain about login rewards i log into the game i play the game i get points i'm good to go so i like the login rewards um it rewards you for consecutive uh times of playing and, and again i like that as well it's a little hard sometimes to remember to play lawbreakers and i don't mean that in a way that says like i don't like the game but if i'm going online i want to play uh you know maybe destiny 2 for example and i like really want to play lawbreakers but i don't really have that reason to just jump in when i can still keep farming and destiny now i have a reason to be like oh, no, 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 I really need to jump back into Lawbreakers really quickly to make sure I get that those bonus points. And I like Lawbreakers, so I'll hop in and, and play a game or two. So I like that, and I think it was a good addition. I know some people are like, oh, free-to-play model or something like that. Whatever, I'm a fan. Also, team spawning. Team spawning has been super helpful as well. Beforehand, when you died, you would just have a timer, and then you would respawn. Well, now that timer will last, and then it'll wait a little bit if there are people who are about to spawn with you. I think there's like a three second gap or something like that, so it's not crazy, but basically you'll keep spawning with your team, which is so much better than having to trickle in or spawning and then just waiting, just sitting there and waiting for your team to have to spawn in. So I like this quite a lot, team spawning for the win. And then lastly, skirmishes. I actually never played a team deathmatch, never came up for me. I don't know why that is. I didn't actually try to just play skirmishes. I did quick play. That way it would go ahead and slot me into the normal game modes as well as skirmishes. I'm going to go ahead and try and do skirmishes, um, but I didn't seem like there were a lot of people biting. So let me know what you guys think if you were able to get in some skirmishes down below. Um, this is a community event, guys. This video, I want to hear what you guys have to say. I post this on Reddit and I post this on the forums um, as well as obviously my YouTube channel. So for those who maybe aren't familiar with Change Your Gaming, please let me know 
what you guys think in the comment section below. If you're interested in having continuous conversation about Lawbreakers, join me in the Discord. I already had a couple people join recently to talk about Lawbreakers, and we've got our own channel in there just to talk about Lawbreakers. We talk about the videos that the actual Lawbreakers guys create, Boss Key, um, but we'll also talk about things that are coming up um, and strategies and things like that. Also, when a clan system, if a clan system is ever implemented, that will be the home of it, Discord. So anyway, thank you so much, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, comment section. Leave a like if you like this video. If you didn't, please let me know why. I'm always interested in changing the format if you guys don't like something. Um, so let me know. Other than that, I will see you guys online, probably playing Destiny or Lawbreakers. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.
Zone spawn. You win. <laughs>